Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, so today we will uh, discuss about uh, identifying key roles and job description um, in, in, in any company. Uh, so before we try to uh, create job descriptions, first we need to identify the, the key roles needed uh, in the company, uh, which means we need to do our research to identify those rules, uh, roles. Um, and for that, we need to understand uh, the um, organizational needs. Uh, from there, we can identify the key roles. And once we do that, uh, we can create the job descriptions, right? Um, I think this part is like the continuation of uh, week eight challenge. Uh, the job description uh, we have seen the the components of a job a job description so it it will be like a revision right um so um, as a chief operating officer uh one of your primary responsibilities is to establish a solid foundation for the company's operation right so that will uh, involve understanding the organ organizational needs, um, identifying the key roles, uh, and then creating um, a clear job description to attract uh, the right talent, right? So what do we mean when we say uh, understanding uh, organizational needs? So uh, to, to understand those, the first thing we need to do is we need to assess the business goal, right? What uh, business goal do we have currently, right? So for example, for um, a tech startup company um, might plan to launch uh, a new software product in the next 12 months. Uh, so for that, we need to identify the rules, uh, the roles for uh, product development and marketing right so once we identify those roles we can uh, create a job description and then announce the uh, the job uh, so the the once we assess the business goal uh, next we need to determine the core functions right what are the core functions in this uh, business goal uh, so those might include like uh, software development, uh, then marketing, sales, and might be customer support, right? Once we have those uh, core functions, once we identify those uh, core functions, uh, next is to evaluate the current workforce, right? So what um, skills are needed for a specific uh, goal, for example, in uh, software development, what skills do we need and what uh, working force do you have currently? Once we analyze that, uh, we can uh, identify the gaps in skills or the gaps in uh, human resource uh, that will uh, allow us to identify the, the key roles, right? So analyzing analysis of the current employee uh, might reveal the company has a strong development skills, but it might like uh, lack in uh, marketing e experts, which means we need to uh, recruit um, a, mar uh, a marketing e expert. Uh, for that, we need to identify the roles and then clearly um, uh, gen uh, develop or clearly create the, the job description. So this this are very important before we try to identify the uh, the, the roles uh, in the in the company uh, so uh, identifying key roles um, as we know it's it's crucial to identify uh, the roles that will support the company's mission and strategies right so this uh, for this we will have a uh, different uh, key roles 
that we need to consider. Uh, the, for example, leadership or strategic roles uh, like uh, CEO or CTO, right? Uh, and the roles and the key skills for uh, these roles uh, depend on the, the role, right? So the, the CEO uh, has, to, has to be a visionary leader uh, responsible for all um, company strategy and roles. And the skills needed for uh, SEO is strategic planning, uh, leadership, fundraising, uh, business development, uh, etc. Right? Uh, for the CTO, uh, the, the roles uh, will be, or his role will be, oversees the company's technical direction and development. And he needs to have um, like a software development, uh, innovation, uh, technical uh, leadership, product management, uh, etc. Right. So those are just examples for the uh, strategic roles, and we will have what we call it operational roles, uh, including operational manager or customer uh, customer support leader. Right. Um, for the operational manager, the roles uh, or the role would be uh, manage day-to-day -day operational um activities to ensure efficiency and effectiveness and the key skills uh, needed would be uh, process implementation logistics resource management operational planning uh, etc and for customer support lead uh, the the role is to ensure customer satisfaction by providing uh, excellent support and resolving issues and uh, the skills needed would be customer service, uh, problem solving, communication, uh, support tools, uh, et cetera, right? So we have uh, different uh, roles in, in, in a company. So we need to identify those key roles, and then we need to uh, set the, the, the roles and uh, the key skills needed for, for that specific role. Uh, we also have uh, technical tools like um, leader software engineer. Uh, uh, his role would be uh, leading the software development team and ensures uh, deliverability of high quality products. And the skills needed for uh, lead software engineer are uh, software architecture, coding, team leadership, project management, uh etc and for product manager uh, his role will be uh, uh he will he will define product vision a strategy and roadmap based on the market research and uh, uh, user uh, feedbacks right and the skills needed for a uh, product manager would be uh, market analysis user research product life cycle management cross-functional collaboration, uh, et cetera, right? And we also have what we call it support roles like human resources uh, and financial manager uh, with roles and uh, skills um, specified here, right? Um, and we also have uh, marketing and sales roles uh, like marketing manager or sales manager, right? So we, we need to identify these um, key roles with their corresponding uh, key skills needed for uh, a particular position. Um, so am I audible? Is it, is it clear? Uh, I, I feel that I'm rushing. All right, uh, thanks, Kiteria. Uh, so um, once we identify uh, the, the key roles, then we, we start to create the job descriptions, right? So a detailed and uh, compelling just job description is essential to attract the right candidates, right? And as we saw last, uh, I mean, a week eight challenge, uh, there are components that we need to include uh, to the job description, right? Uh, so each, uh, job description uh, should include the following. Uh, as as we said last time, uh, it depends uh, 
the way you uh, organize the, the job description uh, it, it, it varies but these elements are important uh, and you have to be consistent uh, like uh, for a company it, it should have uh, a template for job description right and those will include like uh, the job title or the position uh, you, you need to clearly state what the position is uh, like um, lead software developer right uh, or uh, HR they, they have to be clearly uh, stated and we also need to uh, specify the location of the job uh, and then the type of the job whether it's a full-time a part-time or a contract or remote uh, etc and then uh, we need to give a, a, a job summary that means you need to provide an overview of the role and its importance to the uh, growth of the, the, the company, right? Uh, and the, the other one is responsibilities uh, for that particular position or role. Uh, we need to list the primary duties and tasks associated with the, with the role, right? And then uh, we need to have uh, qualifications, right? We need to uh, outline the required uh, education, experience, uh, skills, uh, etc. And it's also ad advisable to include the benefits so that the applicants will be more motivated um, what they're going to get from the company uh, instead of what they are going to give. So if we uh, highlight the benefits and the opportunities associated with this uh, position that will attract the, um, the candidates, right? So these are the, the uh, components that we need to include in creating a, a job description, right? Uh, if, if this is clear, um, we can move on. If you have any questions, please uh, ask. Uh, one guys listen to oh sorry uh is it clear are you guys with me any questions okay all right uh so uh, as an example uh this uh position for lead software engineer right the title is lead software engineer and then you specify the location that's at Sabah, Ethiopia a job title that full time and the job summary um, that the uh, lead software will be responsible for guiding a software development team and ensuring the delivery uh, deliverability of high quality scalable products uh, this role requires a combination of technical expertise and uh, lead leadership uh, skills. As a lead software, you, you also need to have uh, a leadership skills uh, in addition to technical expertise, right? So this is a, a job summary for uh, leader software uh, engineer, right? Uh, and then the, the responsibilities would be lead the design and development of the software application and then monitoring and supporting the development team uh, ensuring best practices in coding testing and development uh, collaborate with product managers to define technical requirements and finally troubleshooting and solve uh, technical issues so the lead software engineer should have uh, the following responsibilities, right? Once we have that, we need to specify the qualifications, what, what's needed for this position. Uh, bachelor's degree in computer science or related fields, uh, five plus years of experience in software development, uh, a strong coding skills in relevant programming language, uh, experience with software architecture and system design, uh, excellent problem solving and communication skills, and we also might need to add like uh, leadership skills, uh, uh, something like that. Uh, once we do that, uh, we, we as we said, it's 
uh, it's good to include benefits what the, the uh, recruit or the, the lead software engineer will get. Uh, those would be competitive salary and beneficiary package. Uh, if, if possible, uh, like a negotiate, a negotiation, um, a negotiable uh, salary uh, amount would be nice to put in uh, so that uh, the the uh, that that the employee or the recruit uh, will uh, decide if that's good for him or not um, the other one is opportunities for professional growth and development uh, that that means um beside besides the, the salary someone or everyone wants to grow in in their field of study right so uh indicating those opportunities uh, would uh, attract the the talents so uh, work on innovative projects with talented team a flexible work environment and support uh, culture so these are the benefits that uh, the lead software engineer will get uh, from the uh, company so this is how we uh, create uh, a job description right so in general um identifying key roles and creating uh, a clear job description are crucial steps in building uh, a strong foundation for uh, a company uh, so by attracting uh, right talent the company can achieve its mission of uh, developing innovative user-friendly products uh, that will uh, alleviate the growth of the company uh, and also each role should be clearly defined with specific responsibilities and qualifications uh, so that the recruitment of the candidates who align with the uh, company goals and values uh, yeah so th those are uh, the uh, conclusions we need to identify the key roles and then clearly define the uh, the the job description uh i think that's for today uh if you have any questions or concepts that i can elaborate more uh, you are welcome to ask is it clear and no questions anyone Maybe can someone uh, revise or give us the idea that we just discussed a summary? If you guys understand it. Hello? Yeah, the, con the, the concepts are clear. We have discussed them uh, in week eight challenge, it's kind of a repetition. Can you share the slides with us? Yeah, of course we, I will. You, you, I will drop it on Google Drive. Um. Okay, then if it's clear and no questions, uh, we can stop here. Um, yeah, have a good day, everyone. Thank you for being here.